Okay, so next thing we can do after an Arch Linux installation, Ctrl Alt T doesn't work. <laughs> so nothing really is working as it is in Arch Linux, which is, well, normal, right? So we really need to set everything like keyboard shortcuts and all that. But um, like for instance, sudo pacman pacman minus s termite. If you want to have this termite thing again, then you have to termite, and there you are. There he is. But it's not the termite you used to because the configuration file is not in there. So it's still very well, interesting to learn. That's that's why we go to phase five, right? To learn more about Arch Linux, how everything is built up and how in effect we end up with an Arch Linux GNOME the way it looks because it's um, it takes quite some Lego blocks and configuration and themes and tweaks and icons and themes and all that to uh, have the result we have on Arch Linux D or Arch Linux B. Which brings us to where I want to go. So either you say I'm going to type everything in, sudo pacman minus s termite and then Firefox and I like Vivaldi etc. Or you start by making scripts yourself and you can of course use and reuse our scripts. So on Arch Linux D, this miss, we have lots of scripts per a desktop you'll find all the scripts you need. So here it is, Arco Gnome. There is a search up there that you can use. And I'm gonna git clone this one. So this URL is now copy pasted in my memory of my computer, of course. And I'm going to, well, maybe first to files and then have these lovely icons, a little too big. And then we are going to, going to be structural about it. So Arcanix D, that's the GitHub where it comes from. And then right here, open in terminal, I'm gonna say git clone. Now probably git is not installed because those things are done on Arch Linux. As you can see, it was not installed. So git clone, control shift V, save, Arco Gnome is in. So that means that the scripts to install our system the automated way, not typing it in the terminal one by one, but say, okay, let's let's say you want the sound, let's say you want Bluetooth and printers and so on. You start by running these scripts or editing the scripts like 200. I think you should really take a look at it and see what do I need in this 200. Oh, well, it was opened with Builder. It seems doesn't don't care what it's opened with, so that's okay. But for instance, catfish is something that's um, interesting to search elements. It actually comes from XFCE, so you might say, "No, nah, I don't like it." C matrix is just for fun. You've seen it once, you've seen it twice, so out. And you can keep going like this. The plank. Do we need a plank in GNOME? Debatable. It's anyway very personal so you choose what you install and this goes on and goes on and goes on you check out the elements that are in here and you say oh yeah I do want GIMP or no I don't want GIMP and then it's just a hashtag out save it and that's it so the elements are here for your ease and comfort use it or don't use it or reuse it and and start by making your own github and start by installing stuff. Now you have to be careful. So I mean by that you have to read the code. This one is okay, use all cores, means that normally Arch Linux says, I have one core. This time and age, you have four cores or eight or even more. So we're going to say to him, look, you have four cores. So it's going to be not four times as fast, but faster, right? So that's a good thing. Now this one is the display manager, but everything is already set. So these scripts are made for Arch Linux D. A black screen, no light DM, no XORG and all that. So that's that's what this does. It's getting ready for um, this one. It's going to install lots of stuff. XORG is already installed. So it's just light DM and 
the desktop that's not installed. So that's what it's going to do. But that's already okay. We're looking at it. So 100 is not necessary. But sound, sound gonna be, might be broken. I don't think so that it's broken. You have to test it out. So uh, play music and see if GNOME imported elements. Now the easiest way that I think uh, works is with the Pamac Hour, but Pamac Hour is not installed. So I really have to go and look for sudo actman minus q and then uh, something like uh, sound with, with power control installed. I guess not. Uh, pulse audio, something like that. Pulse audio, is that installed? So GNOME took in some elements for sound. So check it first out, then see what you're missing. Okay. So you can reuse all these scripts and I'm going to use uh, a few of them just to embellish things a little bit and make it a little bit nicer. But the point is, or you do it manually or you do it via scripts. But basically, it's your choice what elements you put on here and whatnot. All right, let me just pause here and install some stuff. Okay, I'm already back because at this point in time, it wants to install with Yaourt. So the 300 here is, oh, that's not 300, uh, 300. He wants to go to the AUR, install Conky, so AUR, install anything really. It's going to check first, is EA there? Is Trizen there? Is Yahoot there? Is Pakao there? Is Paco there? Well, in the meantime, life has been in evolution, let's say. Paco is no more, Pakao is no more, Yahoot is no more. So these two guys are still the ones uh, available, but they're not on this system. So the scripts will work if I get yay to work on this system. And that's actually also quite a good tutorial. Um, so Firefox, I want to have yay on my machine. So how do you do that? AOR, yay, and then bin, because bin one, the bin is the, the fastest one to update later on. If you take the yay version, you'll need 500 or 450 megabytes of go. So uh, it's a lot of lot to take in. I take the download snapshot. So I have a little file that I'm gonna open up. Um, minimize, right mouse click, extract here is good. So this one is a package build. And this is what's gonna happen from Jaeger, I think it was, yay, release as package, package version, and everything is going to be installed. So right mouse click, open a terminal, make a package and see what's happening. So I'm actually building the application YAY at this point in time, compressing, it's done. YAY is installed, so yeah, not installed, it's built. I'm going to install it right now. Minus U, remember the U, capital U, everything is capital in Pac-Man. And there you go. So this guy, yay bin, install it. And now Yahoot is not necessary anymore. This is a copy paste from uh, six months ago. Yahoot was alive and kicking back then. So pseudo Pac-Man minus R, Yahoot. You're out. And there is somebody accompanying him. And that's the package query. That one is out too. So these two are no longer working. So yay is installed now. I can go up and run this thing again. And it says installing with yay now. You see? So I'm just gonna wait till everything is installed. Look, I've been installing quite a few things and um, this can be closed. We have here servant icons with the arc files. So it looks like this now. Uh, varieties in the background working. Alt N has been programmed. Control T has been. Uh, keyboard shortcuts have made those myself. And we have here a lot of applications now 
and some icons for it. So this is what we've done with uh, Article NextD. You have this script, bunch of scripts on the GitHub. I would just run a few of them, not all of them. And uh, you have already a nice theme. There is this tweak tool that I've installed, tweaks. And it's very easy to change them to arc dark, for instance, and oxyneon as this blue cursor here, and surf an arc or arch blue or whatever arch love red. So with this wallpaper, maybe we should go to red, but I do love my surf and arc. So that's the point. Um, you can make Arch Linux GNOME as beautiful as you like with all the tools that are out there. It's incredible. Last thing maybe Control Alt T now, yay. And then look for icons or look for themes. It's just amazing how many people are contributing elements to, well, to your system. All you have to do is pick a number 247 and you get the TTF dev icons in and so on and so on. So there's a lot of, uh, well, goodwill and development out there. The Vertex icons, get, check them out. There's lots of things to install. And then once you know all these packages, you'll go back to the ones you like and say, okay, this is one I like. I'm going to put that in my, my script and then run it. So I have it available later on. Okay, enjoy uh, making Arch Linux, um, sorry, Arch Linux. <laughs> Beautiful and the next video is going to be about getting things extra in because the only thing you can't get in at this point in time is Software from our packages from Arch Linux repo. That's not possible on Arch Linux unless you do something. So that's the next one